a brand new Home Assistant release just dropped for July 2025. And it's packed with upgrades that will make your smart home smarter than ever before. From chatty assistant conversations to PlayStation dashboards. Let's dive into everything new and awesome. We'll start in a couple of seconds. First up, Assistant can now ask questions. Forget one-shot commands. Now you can create custom conversations directly in automations. Need to confirm how many lights you want to turn on? Assist will ask. Even better, you can set expected answers so that the blazing fast local speech engine gets right every time. For example, Assist, which room do you want to clean? You return the answer kitchen. Assist returns start vacuuming the kitchen. That's straight up sci-fi. Remember the old area cards that felt kinda meh? It's been completely redesigned. Now it looks like a tile card, works perfectly with sections and even lets you rearrange controls. You can choose a minimal icon or detailed view with cameras, lights and fans, basically turning your dashboard into mission control. And speaking of areas, there is a new areas dashboard overview. It uses the redesigned area card to give you a clean one-click overview of devices by room. It's like a Google Maps for your smart home. Ever enter the same API keys five times? Yeah, I did. Integration sub-entities solve that. Now you can add credentials once, then reuse them for multiple AI agents or calendars, saving time, sanity and probably your keyboard. But that's not all. The integrations page itself got a huge overhaul, showing not just integrations but also devices and servicing belonging to each one. Finding rogue devices just got to way easier. When we are already talking about integrations, you need to check these out. Altruist tracks your charitable giving. PlayStation Network show your games on the dashboard. Flex your Elden Ring grind. Tilt Pie, Brewing Nerds Rejoice get live gravity and temperature data. And the last one is a veggie hub, hydroponics for your smart home lettuce empire. Plus tons of improvements like adding real link camera controls. Did you see the pattern here? Each release we get the update for the real link cameras, plus also ESP home sub devices and much more. Hate squinting at YAML. Full screen code editors are here. Click on the maximize button and your code takes over the screen. Perfect for editing automations on your laptop or tablet. Plus other cool stuff. Shopping lists now support voice commands to check items of the list. Templates can use variables, icons and dynamic descriptions. Snapshots for the cameras got faster thanks to go to RTC support. And object selectors now support multiple selections. Hello, fancy blueprints. Big shout out to contributors. Bosch Alarm and Home Connect hit Platinum on the quality scale. Telegram bot can now be set up right from the UI. So goodbye YAML headaches. But yes, we also have backward incompatible changes. For example, Google Calendar, Meter, Mila, and also Plex Media Server. If you thought that this is it, actually this is just the top of the iceberg. And for all the changes in this July release of Home Assistant, you can click on a full change log and spend next month browsing to what's new in the July of 2025 update of Home Assistant. And that's it for the seventh release of Home Assistant in this year. Tons of new features to level up your smart home. Hit like if you learned something, subscribe for more and check out the full release notes in the video description. And before I end up the video, as always, I want to say thanks to all those wonderful people that are supporting me and that have become YouTube channel members. Thank you all for all of your support. But let's not forget each and every one of you who has watched, shared, liked or commented on my videos. Thank you. If you too want to support the channel, you can do so by clicking the join button down below and becoming a YouTube channel member for only 2 euros or 2 dollars per month. Or you can go to my merchandise store and get something there. Last but not least, as always, you can send me super thanks and I will be super 
thankful for that. I will be seeing you soon. Until then, bye bye and have fun.